Gmail.com, guys, just when the end of the game plays out the way it does, just what are your thoughts on that foul being overturned and, and trying to withstand a call like that late in the game? Um, it is what it is. We should have won the game. Um, we gave up. We were up 14. Gave up a lead. That's on us. Um, we shouldn't have to rely on hoping that he gets, you know, the offensive foul. Was it a foul? We think so, but it wasn't. And I mean, we we should have won the game. You know, it was in our hands, and you know, we didn't capitalize, and that's on us. What do you think you guys could have done differently down the stretch to kind of Offen- make it yeah. something? offensive rebounds? You know, they had five. You know, they had five three pointers in a matter of like five minutes or something like that. Um, it really brought him back in the game and pushed the lead out. Um, then when we play good defense, you know, we don't give ourselves a chance. So no matter what we do on offense, we're not giving ourselves that chance. And, you know, we just got to fix that and, and be better. Coach Russell, the athletic, going off of that, what did you think of Evan defensively tonight, um, especially <clears throat> Embiid? I felt like he battled tonight. Um, we knew it would be a team effort, especially with J.A. out. Um, and we felt like, you know, Evan took the challenge early um, and battled him all night. You know, that's a that's a tough matchup for him. Um, but I feel like, you know, uh, he had some tough calls against him, but he still battled all night. I mean, cares for you, too, like 24 points tonight. But recently you've been on this, this stretch. What has just been working so well? Um, and we've talked about your role changing throughout the season, but just kind of recently being able to really um, excel in, in your role. Yeah, I'm just trying to be more locked in. Playoff time coming, um, and I know what that entails. You know, I've been there a couple times, um, so I'm just trying to put myself in that mindset. Uh, my teammates give me a lot of confidence, you know, each and every night to just be myself, so uh, they make it easy on me. Um, Donna, what have you seen from Evan, just the way that he's grown defensively this season? Um, <clears throat> I feel like he's taking the step that everybody has been talking about all year. Um, you know, he takes pride in it. You know, he knows who he is. Um, he's he's a guy that, you know, I think it, I want to say maybe two months ago, three months ago, he had a game where he didn't play well and somebody got the best of him. And ever since that game, I think that was the beginning of January, ever since that game, he's been in the weight room every day. Um, doing something, um, game days, now game days, and no one told him to do that. He did that on his own. That speaks to his willingness to want to get better. To and you look at his numbers from January first or his second, whatever it is, up until now. You know they're phenomenal on both ends of the floor, and he deserves to be. Well, he is top three in defensive player of the year rating, but I think he's, I think he's number one. You know, you look at what he's done alongside Jared Allen, but you know he's taking that step defensively. You know, obviously. Joel's MB is the MVP of this league, so you know he's gonna get 36. You know he's gonna get those numbers, but it was a tough, it wasn't easy. Like those shots were tough, and you can only do but so much. Um, but he's taking that step for sure. Chris, Marcus McNeese, Chronicle Telegram. Harris, uh, JB mentioned you know you've kind of personally you've gone through some ups and downs this season on the court. Where do you feel like your game is at right now? Um, what does your performance tonight say about kind of those strides you've taken this season? Yeah, I feel pretty sharp. Um, my handle feels sharp. My jump shot feels pretty sharp. Um, my conditioning feels, you know, up to par. Um, you know, like I said, I've uh, kind of kicked it into playoff mode just mentally. Um, and I think, um, like I said, my teammates make it extremely easy on me each and every game, especially when I get it going, calling my play, calling my number, and just telling me to just be aggressive. So um, for me, just, you know, staying here these last 11, 12 games, wherever we have, and carrying that momentum into the playoffs is going to be big. What can you say about the way um, Karis was able, you know, that spark he brought uh, tonight? Um, yeah, you know, he said it himself. You know, he's taken that, that his raise is lovely. I think his, his role is a little more consistent now, which is, is easier to find a groove. And you're looking at it. He works. He's in the gym every day, continuing to work on his game, and he's making the shots that he's working on, you know, continues to get into his spots. You know, we all trust him, um, giving, the, giving the ball, you know, put him in the spots. And then defensively, he's playing well, too. So it's not like we're just so much. You know, he had 24 points, only missed six shots tonight. But, you know, he, he had a hell of an impact on the defensive end. You know what I mean? And I think that's something that I didn't even realize about his game, you know, until I got here. So you're seeing it. Um, and it's not always easy coming from a situation where you're not really knowing you know what to expect every night to come in and do what he's doing, especially at this part of the season. Um, so yeah, I give him credit. You know he's able to lock in. He gives us a spark. You know there's a reason why we're in this game. Yeah, Evan Damar, right down here. Karis, JB talks about a lot about how you're more focused on helping the team win, no matter how you can. What in what aspect? What how does that drive you? Yeah, that's you know that's how I was taught to play the game. You know it's. Um, 
win or lose, you know what I mean? Um, individual performance is one thing, but, I mean, we all play to win the game, and I feel like, you know, this team kind of embodies that, so they make it easy. Um, everyone's out there to win. It's not just me. Um, so I feel like my role has been very, you know, kind of different throughout the season, um, starting, not starting, you know, coming off the bench, being a defensive stopper, being, a you know, a spark. But <clears throat> I think throughout all of that, I think the main thing is just make winning plays. And you had mentioned that you're starting, not starting, being a defensive stopper, but you've always had the trust of your teammates and your coaching staff. How huge is that for you? Yeah, it's big. Um, and I think that just comes from, like Don said, I'm in the gym every day. Uh, a lot of the guys are in the gym every day, just, you know, just working, trying to get better. Um, so we trust each other. That's where that comes from. Last one. Donovan, did you see a switch um, in the physicality defensively down the stretch, like end of the, end of the third and the fourth us. quarter? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, but I think with that physicality, you have to be mentally sharp, you know, and you can't have little mistakes, which led to threes on multiple occasions, and that's ultimately what hurt us and lost us the game. So, yeah, we turned up the physicality, and that's good and well, but, you know, at the end of the day, we got to do the little things on the defensive end to keep us, you know, and we did it. We got out in transition, hit some big shots. Um, but we guarded, you know, we just didn't, we just kept shooting ourselves in the foot, you know, not getting those rebounds and, you know, and they made shots because that's what they do, you know, and that's what it's going to be like. And um, we'll adjust, we'll look at this and, and we'll be better. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.